saysayan ang kamalayan May mga layuning na itakda Ang susi ng katotohanan Ang diwa ng pagmamahalan Ang tulay ng pag What was that, Jude 1, 3? Yeah, chapter 1, verse 3. Only one chapter. Yeah, Jude only has one chapter. Uh, I will look into that. Uh, but I, I do want to bring up that... Because um, it feels like you're telling me that the definition of the organic is untouched. Untouched, that's right. Not artificial. But I do want to say that the nature of things, if, you know, you tell me if you agree with this, but the nature of things is that they must interact with each other. How far can you go with untouched exactly? When it's time to grow your own gardens, you have to be the one to set up the conditions for that plant to grow. Whether you want, if you grow your crops in a climate that just won't isn't suitable for that crop you build a greenhouse right you set up these conditions for it and part of my concern is is that if we set organic to mean untouched that you will have to run into that you will have to deal with this problem of what exactly how far can i not get involved in the process and because if i do want to grow something I have to interact with it. Even nature itself has, you know, they interact with each other. And sometimes they can completely um, go extinct because of a interaction that just wasn't suitable for, their, for the conditions for them to live. Example is bringing other animals right and then having them up subvert the ecosystem but at the same time organic tells me that it adapts because i feel like that is the nature of things that they're they have a capacity to adapt some will die but i feel like there's something to say about how when nature itself interacts with each other that some they can overcome or return in harmony with each other so would I say untouched is the proper way to describe organic? Yeah. Am, I, am I making sense? We could even well, just talk about the definition of organic this whole conversation if you want. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, there's the rub, Shane. Uh, again, you're trying to bring the discussion. You, uh, I laid down the foundation. Uh, when humans first uh, lived in the garden. Okay, but the rub is, things were changed. God cursed the land. That's precisely what happened. We no longer have the organic uh, conditions. Uh, I think may I have my camera reversed, sorry. Oh, there you go. We no longer have the organic conditions to allow us to remain uh, pure, okay, physically and spiritually, because God already cursed the, the, the ground, and we have been corrupted because of Adam's sin and our own sins. So in that sense, uh, the physical creation no longer reacts, uh, or uh, what you call this, uh, functions the way it was meant to function, organically. So we are burdened by sin, so even our body is being corrupted. We're no longer organic in the sense that we are. We tend to corrupt. We tend to become unorganic. So even in our ways, a way of thinking, a way of living. So that's why uh, I'm trying to bring it back to that condition in the garden when everything, when everything was still uh, organic and pure. So, of course, there was a time when God, even in the garden, God promised that 
uh, he he will destroy what Satan had done or what the serpent had done in the beginning. And he will also undo the curse that he had put on creation and humans. Okay, do you agree with that? I'm more inclined to say I am more inclined to say what we had done, not exactly what the serpent had done. Oh yeah, but uh, what exactly? But the serpent is still there, still trying to destroy God's creation and trying trying to forestall his plan of redemption. So it's still a pitched battle. It's still an ongoing battle. So here's this uh, God's plan to keep us organic. But here's Satan trying to keep us unorganic and so distract us to separate us continually from God's natural, simple ways. Okay, Even in spiritual, in, in our relationship with Him. So uh, when I said the first and final interpretation, it has always been our covenant with God in the beginning that uh, we are His children. We are God's. Adam and Eve were gods, living like gods because they were children and uh, creatures of God along with all the animals and all of uh, creation in paradise. So uh, that condition has already been lost. But God is original or plan, as I was saying, uh, for creation was to bring us back to that relationship, co covenant relationship. And the only way he could do that is to send his son, to promise his son, but to crush the head of uh, the serpent. And he has done that. So we're now talking, uh, we need to talk now about the spiritual significance of what is organic, what was given to our first parents, and what God tried to bring back to us, or to reclaim for us, so that we could have organic life once more. Of course, we can never have that now in physical terms, because this world is corrupted. It is unorganic. Okay, no matter what we do, of course, we can really go organic in our eating. But how about our spiritual uh, life, our, our faith? Is there such a thing as organic faith, organic worship? Because if we can at least attain that uh, organic relationship, uh, that uh, covenant relation, organic covenant relationship, if I may be, uh, very complex just to bring out the point then it would be a, a great accomplishment for us uh, in this era in this uh, age what do you think brother Dan okay. yeah. so how about applying it in our in our faith that means no human teachings just the plain teachings of the Bible right mm -hmm. well I I agree. To, to go point by point on something you said, Vince, let's start off with the garden. In uh -huh. a sense, to use from another culture, uh, it, it feels like a opening Pandora's box, right? It's yeah. uh, we, in a sense, there flux is in there is change right now. Um, I don't know if the conditions of the garden did not involve change, but I feel like to have life itself is kind of uh, is change itself. Uh, I I like to say that if a if the human body were to reach equilibrium with the world, you'd be dead basically, because uh, to be alive is to be change. You know. Um, you have to sustain yourself. You have to take from the garden to stay alive. Like I'm not quite sure just how untouched things are, but I can say that you are that what I'm hearing for our term of organic is is that we are trying to um, not maybe not go overboard on how we or not to be so simplistic or or even to have with great caution how we set up the conditions for things to grow if we're talking about food okay because 
we question whether or not our chemicals are actually helping these plants grow or it's merely just meeting its requirements and it's not even that there is potential for it to get even better right because sometimes i i I feel like if you're going to grow something in your garden, you would say it's organic because you don't have large mechanisms at work that uh, um, large mechanisms at work that you would say isn't entirely healthy or isn't reaching the ideal goal but maybe actually reaching the minimum goal right because i feel like quality has a um, spectrum to deal with it's like just how healthy does it have to be to live and be edible right or to survive its growing process Organic is saying you let go of these large mechanisms, these, uh, um, how, how would I put it? Basically, you're trying to step back and try not to, or to reassess just how these techniques can keep these plants uh, far from ideal. Eh? I'm having trouble trying to express it, but what that's what I'm getting. What I'm getting at is just trying to. It, it feels like you're addressing a quality, right? Uh, yeah, that's one thing. That's uh, Shane. Yeah, I think uh, that's only one aspect. Uh, quality of the food. Okay, bear in mind that we're using food here only as a metaphor. If I may. <laughs> Uh, go a bit scientific or uh, physics oriented uh, for a while. Yeah, you're gonna you want to address the different terms of organic, not revolving to food, but like food. Food is just one aspect, or the quality of food being organic is just one aspect of uh, the issue. Because uh, if you come to think of it, what is food? It's nothing but light in the form of physical matter that is digestible but in the finality ultimately what we're eating is light because it is the photosynthetic process that uh, transforms all of the minerals all the dust of the ground of the earth into proteins that sustains our body so even our very own bodies are nothing but uh, dust of the universe, diba? formed by God and uh, given life okay, through His first, again, I go back to the first interpretation of life in human form, which is Adam. So God was trying to interpret Himself or recreate Himself, reproduce Himself in the form of human beings first through Adam. Okay, and he gave Adam and Eve everything that they needed to sustain that physical life. Okay, but that's just the planting. Eh? Adam and Eve are just the seeds of humanity. The garden was just the seed of his uh, utopia, what we call a perfect place uh, that he wanted to create for, for his creation, for us. Okay, but we blew it. Well, we, they sinned and we sinned so we, so we lost that uh, purity that uh, good relationship with the creator so how do we go back what I'm trying to say now is that uh, his even the light that uh, produces food everything well, even if we, we go ahead and say okay everything that I planted all the carrots cabbages and pechai and mongo that I plant and, and eat is organic. But then, you say in your condo away from fresh air or the sunlight, you would still not be getting enough of what God created. So food is just one aspect. Everything else in you know, uh, in life, in creation, even our relationship with our fellow men, 
fellow women, diba? everyone else. That's part of living on this uh, on this planet. So everything now in its totality. But we're just as I again as I said, just trying to lay down the foundation. So we're trying to not reconstruct but bring back everything to that uh, whole definition. Of what is life all about? It's not just about food. It's not just about reading the Bible or knowing how to interpret using our own techniques or whatever it's really understanding god's original or organic plan or message what are done yes yes i agree with that uh, no problem with me about the, the discussion about organic food in organic way uh, so my my uh, uh, my question is how do we make uh, specific examples of that to uh, our faith as uh, Christians? I'd say that uh, that would be a good segue to move to the next talking point. That will be in the next uh, part, but for now we need to wrap up everything. I think we have, how long have we yeah. talked, Shane? Uh, we're at 42 minutes.